Welcome to this new video tutorial. We're going to see today how to install the Delib library on Windows for Python. There are two ways to install the Delib library. One is to download the source code and compile it so that it can work on Windows. The second way is to download a compiled version ready for Windows. And it's easy solution and it's what we're going to do right now. So the first thing to see is the Python version that we have. So let's run from Windows the prompt command. So I, on the search bar, I type CMD and remember to run it as administrator. So let's type with the right button of the mouse run as administrator and let's press yes. Once we have this, we can run Python. Once we run Python, we can see the version of Python, which is 3.6 in my case, the 64-bit version. And it's important that you have Python 3.6, 64-bit version, because that's the only way that we can make the lib library work on OpenCV, at least from these binaries that we have. And so, on this page, we can see different version of the Delib library for different versions of Python. We have Delib 19.1, for example, that works with Python 3.5. We, we can see CP35, which stands for Python 3.5, 64-bit. A newer version of Delib 19.3 for Python 3.5, 64-bit. Let's go to the latest available at the moment, which is the lib 19.8 for Python 3.6, 64-bit version. Other later version after this, they, are they have only the source code, but not the ready binaries. So we will stick with the lib 19.8.1. I copy this one, and then we go on the prompt command. Now, when we see this, three arrows on the right it means we are inside python we need to quit python and we need to go back to the prompt command of windows now we can run the python pip installation for installing external libraries so we can just run python dash m pip install and let's just copy this link copy and we paste it here and let's press enter now the file is just be downloaded and now the delib library was already installed um, we can just run python we import the lib if we don't get any error it means that the installation was done successfully. Then we can quit. So remember, you can use the lib, you can start in the lib this way only if you have the version of Python 3.6, at least at the moment. If you have different version, either you compile uh, the lib yourself or you can install Python 3.6 I have a tutorial how to install Python in another video. That's all.